Good morning, Molineros. Hello, how are you? Glad to know that you can you will be able to go to outside uh, next week. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with the topic today that is um, hunter and gatherer communities. This is that poem in page uh, 158. Okay. So we're going to study this point that corresponds exactly with the Paleolithic age, or also called the old stone, the old stone. Why do we say this old stone or Paleolithic? Well, first, it corresponds from the period from 5 million of years ago before Christ, so it's a long period. You get this, Paleolithic, Paleolithic, can you see it? Yeah, uh, yeah. okay, Paleolithic from 5 million of years ago, here, to the period in which it started, the Neolithic, 8,000 before Christ. So it's, it is a very long period in which the humans develop uh, new tools and new techniques. The meaning paleo means old, in Spanish it's viejo, paleo, viejo or old, and lithic, that means stone. So paleolithic, old stone. Simple, no? Okay, come on. The life of early humans. So we are going to start first with the timeline. I'm going to reduce my side. You don't need to see my face so big. So reduce the side. Ah, uh, here. Okay. Paleolithic. The Paleolithic that it, is, it was developed from five million. This is in green color. Till the moment that agriculture started, people started to raise their own products, their own wheat and barley, trigo, cebada, agricultura, etc. etc. Okay, so this is the timeline, the Paleolithic, with the uh, most important people who appear, the Homo habilis that you have studied, um, antecessor, erector, habilis, neanderthal, all of them correspond to uh, the Paleolithic or old stone. Okay, coming back. So, we are here in hunter and gatherer communities. This is what is explained here, the Paleolithic, the pale old stone, the lives of early humans. This is the all the points, because in in the Paleolithic period, the the humans live from here hunting. Okay, simple to hunt animals. They live from hunting to eat, from gathering. What is gathering? Gathering is collecting things. Collecting things, or gathering, 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 and gathering fruits and fishing. Uh, gathering, gathering is collecting fruits and apples or strawberries, etc. To eat, gathering, recolectar. Okay, hunting, gathering, and fishing, and fishing. So they were predators, hunting animals, mammals, small animals, reptiles. Okay, and also an important, an important characteristic of the Paleolithic people is that they were nomadic people. So, they don't have a fixed place to live. So, uh, instead of that, they change from one place to another, depending on the season. For example, during winter, we are going to live in the, into the valley. And during summer, we are going to live into the mountain. Why? Because they, are, uh, they, they used to, to follow the, the animals that they used to hunt. So, next point. The control of fire. Okay, we're going to see pictures of uh, Paleolithic people hunting, hunting, producing tools, etc., etc., like here, or another people. The production of fire. The production of fire. Okay, coming back here. Fire. The control of fire. The control of fire, um, it is said that more or less 400,000 years ago, the Homo erectus started to control fire, but by accident. I mean, they didn't light, they didn't light fire. They didn't produce fire. They take fire, for example, from, from natural fire, from a volcano, or from a storm, from the lightning of a storm, los rayos, they used to produce fire, so they used to take this fire and preserve the fire, for example, for cooking or for defending from animals, from predators, etc. But in the Homo neanderthalensis, it was the, the first human who 
started to light fire. I'm go I have a video on my blog that you can see how you can produce fire and how the Homo neanderthalensis used to light fire, that it, uh, was uh, used to, to cook, etc. etc. So, coming back, the control of fire, 4,000 years ago, the Homo erectus produced fire, Neanderthal learned to light fire. Okay, uh, to warm, to fight away, to light their caves, to cook food, etc. etc. Next point, the production of tools. I'm going to upload a very interesting video that explains how they produce tools with stones. Remember the Paleolithic means the old stones. So they produce uh, their own tools from, um, from here, first tools produced uh, from stones. They used to, uh, the, the most important stone that they used to which was flint, that is el pedernal, or el silex, silex. That, uh, I have here examples of some of the stone that they used to produce. Here, how to produce a bifaz, or an old stone, that is like an, a knife. A knife, but made with stone, because they didn't know how to produce knife with iron. The hierro or the acero. No, they produce the their the knives, for example, or the axes with uh, with the stones like that one or this another tools. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I do not want yes. Uh, no, no, no. Out, 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 out. Out. Okay. Oof. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, or oh, this one, or oh, look at that. What is the purpose? Look at that. Como se obtenía el fuego? They used to, um, to to make fire in that way, and also they produced their own tools with that. The first tools were only hammers, for example, but they started to develop more complex techniques that you will see in the video that I'm going to love uh, close to this. Okay? So, look at this, another one in which they produce their own stone, like uh, spears, lanzas, or axes, etc., with stones, with this technique, in which they produce their own tools. Okay, next point, in your books, is that one, that it shows us a paleo paleolithic camp. Pa paleolithic camp, well, uh, they used to have their camps uh, close to a source of water, obviously, because the most important thing that humans used to do an old animal is drinking so the, um, the most of the camps were located very close to uh, a source of water so rivers um, most of them live in, in, in caves in caves like that one that you they have uh, all the activity that I have here cooking food uh, producing um, these poles and um, projectiles etc tools etc etc so you have all the activities, they produce their own clothes with the skin of the animals, fire, drying fishes, etc. etc. Okay, um, that's all for today. I'm going to upload also, apart from the, the, the video I said to you, that please watch it because you, we will get, we have uh, some activities that correspond to, that, to these two videos. Uh, and I'm going to upload also the activities related with this topic, that is, remember, uh, Paleolithic, Paleolithic era or Paleolithic uh, uh, stone. Okay, so nice. Uh, bye all. See you.